Right, what's up guys and welcome back to my catches and as you can see I'm back on the fishing location. The current time is about quarter to eight in the morning. It is currently a Saturday morning and today's session I'm going to be fishing, well for two nights. I did fish last night which was Friday night. I'm going to be fishing tonight, Saturday night. I've got three rods in. I'm fishing down the bottom end of the lake. I come here about two weeks ago and I had two fish out, lost one, both 16 pound. I had one linear one merit, they were absolutely stunning fish, so I'm hoping for some more. I'm going to be fishing with some of the lake pellet and some sticky krill boilies, 16 mil, and on the hook bait I've got 16 mil krill active wafters. It's currently absolutely chucking it down and it has been all night, so I'm going to get a cup of tea on, hopefully it dies down a little bit, and then get the rods back in, so stay tuned. Let's get the rods in, change the bait, get some more PVA bags on, cast them out, I'm hoping. Two rods on that damn wall, one down this margin again. That's where I had the fish from last time, cross my fingers, come on the car. Right, so before we get the first rod in, I'm going to be dipping in, I'm going to 16 mil krill active wafter, and I'm going to be dip it, dipping it in, some of this sticky krill glug, so I'm going to dip this in, try and wang this first one over to the margin, come on. Yo, lovely, lovely, go on, you go in there. Nice, get a load of that. I'll show you now quickly, at the moment, these sticky krill active wafters. They're my favorite baits at the moment. Can't beat them. These, um, the rig I'm using, I've got a two ounce distance line on there, as you can see, and that's paired with a size four Kershank hook. I've got a 16 mil krill active wafter on there. And that's just on a six inch stiff boom. Absolutely banging rig. Let's get it in. Absolutely perfect. With the two ounce gripper on it, is what I just left in the margin overnight last night. I had a fish from there, 16 pound, that was the first fish I had last session. So I'm gonna get this back out there. Right, so we're just setting the third rig up and ooh, get hold of the hook. So, got the hook here, got a new fresh boilie on it, new wafty. And I'm going to stick on this just PVA bag. It's a, quite a big PVA bag, just full of whole boilies, probably about 10 in there. Um, and that's solely for the purpose of only flicking it into the margin. So, I'm not too bothered about having a big bag on. Perfect. Right, let's fling some boilies in. Buried under all my pots. I can't get the margin over the other side, but I can get the one in the middle, and I can get the one in the edge. Perfect. Gonna get the kettle on, but before I do, I'm gonna get some of the lake pellet on that one on the margin and maybe fling a couple out to the middle. But yeah, ace, come on the car. Oh my god, go on focus, focus. I've just had a pickup on that rod. It's just gone up and down very slow. It could have been a line, it could have been a pickup. That's a good sign though, that's the one in the middle.
Mmm. Ah, it's a good cup of tea. It's currently, well, I haven't got my watch on today. Ooh, the time is currently half past nine, as you can see. And I've had one bleep. Yeah, it's not going too great, but on the other hand, at least my mug's got a fish on it. Good mug, that is. So, um, yeah, I've recasting me three rods. So I've got one rod over the far margin, one in the middle, one in this margin. I come two weeks ago, I had one from the far margin, lost one from the middle, because it got wrapped around the tree stump in the middle of the lake, and one from this margin I had um, two 16 pounders, so I'll put some photos of them up. But I did last night fishing, I didn't record it, um, because I'd come straight after work, so by the time I was set up, it was half past seven, and it was absolutely pitch black. So I thought, I'll do the night, if I catch anything, I'll go on the video, which unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't know, didn't I? Um, <laughs> So, won't be in the video. But yeah, I, I need to get my breakfast on. I was thinking, I've got two of these little pizza things. Try and cook them off my pan. I've got some mozzarella put on them, some chilies. And then if the first one actually cooks, I'm gonna cook a sausage, cut it up and put it on the pizza, because I think that'd be nice. Right, so I've cooked, well, I say cooked, I've tried to cook my pizza in my pan. I haven't burnt it, I've pulled it off just before. In all honesty, it doesn't look too bad. I've put my own mozzarella on, I've sliced up some fresh chilies, put them on. Bit of salt and pepper on it. So yeah, I'll try a bit of this pizza. Oh, I'm ripping it to give up. Look, it's like a Weatherspoons pizza. Sounds like it's taste. Not bad. I'll have it again. Or a board, waiting for some fish. I haven't seen any, well, I'll say I haven't seen any. I've seen a couple over the dam wall on the far side. That's about it, the council are over there with a the drone. They keep draining the lake for some reason. I came to start this week and it was down by about six foot. It's currently down by about two foot at the moment. We had a lot, a lot of rain last night, so it did fill it up a bit. And just a quick one, anybody have the Dalkeem TXIDs, the Mark 1s, not the V2s? I was up till three o'clock in the morning trying to get them to stop beeping in the rain. The rain was ridiculously heavy and it they just wouldn't stop beeping. It was insane. And it was chucking it down, so I'm standing there, my coat, well, huddled under my coat, should I say, messing with all the settings for right an hour. I mean, I did it, but... Why has an alarm got to be so complicated? It's insane. I'm currently just redoing my rods again. I've swapped over, I've gone, because somebody's jumped into peg 12 next to me, middle rod, I've gone as close to that margin as I can get. My right hand rod is now gonna be in the middle and then I'm gonna readjust my margin rod to a bit better of a spot, hopefully. But just a quick look, what I'm doing. So I've got the sticky krill active wafters, 16 mil. They are absolutely amazing and I love them to bits. The rig I've got here is a two and a half ounce, oops, sorry, you can't see. The rig I've got here is a two and a half ounce distance leg for distance lead, followed by a six inch stiff boom. On the end of that, I've got a size four curved shank hook with a bait screw on it. That is gonna do me the trick. Right, so as you can see, waders are on. I've got me 10 foot rod here, which I'm gonna be using in the margin. And I've got that rig set up here, as you can see. I've got a two ounce gripper on there, six inch boom active krill boilies and the mesh bag so we can get that in under the bush and now wading in right so my aim is the end of that bush there so wish me luck i tell you what this is very difficult to do one-handed so i'm just gonna go for it absolutely perfect Currently, 
three o'clock. I'm sitting here and I've just made myself another cup of tea and I've got some chocolate biscuits with me. Mmm, absolutely amazing. Oh, I've just noticed. Yeah, receiver dangling there. But so far, I haven't had a fish, I haven't had a ball leap. There's a couple of grebes and, um, well, there isn't any herons, there's a couple of grebes going round. But there is the occasional odd fish rolling on the far bank and just in the middle of the lake. But I haven't really had any knocks. I don't know why, the lake's gone really still like a mill pond almost now. It's strange, it's a bit eerie, if I'm honest. But God knows we'll find out. I'm just sitting here, I'm just about to watch a film. So, yeah. So I'm gonna watch that. Fingers crossed we're gonna have a fish. Oh, I tell you what, it isn't warming up at all. I can tell it's coming into winter. It's getting a bit chilly. I mean, it isn't the coldest, but it is getting cooler. And uh, it's about four o'clock now. I'm just sitting here watching the water. I haven't really seen any fish. There is the odd thing, topping and just grebe swimming up and down, but it is quiet. And yeah, I don't really know what to do, if I'm honest. Because nothing, sh it, well, as I say, little things are showing, but they just seem like little fish, nothing like carp rolling or jumping or even any signs of them feeding. The lake's just gone really still, really quiet, there's no wind. I know there is supposed to be a storm tonight, so that might wake them up. That, it might be the quiet before the storm, or the calm before the storm. Right, so Charlie has walked around and brought pizza. Yes. What's in that? Very nice. Um, we've got the kettle on now, there, so. Yeah, pizza you had. Um, uh, a yeah. veggie one. Yeah. What's Bray's not full. Pepperoni and chicken. Yeah. Tucking in. How do I even go from here? The time is currently 20 to 10. I'm gonna get in bed. The lake is absolutely silent. It's like a mirror looking off into the sky. And I haven't heard any fish at all. As I say, it's silent, it's been quiet all day. The water's been perfectly still. I know we are due in a storm tomorrow um, or some point early hours in the morning. Eight to mile an hour winds and oh my God, it's supposed to be vicious. So hopefully it isn't as bad as I make it out, but I'm gonna go to sleep. Fingers crossed we can have a fish because we haven't had one so far this session. So yeah, see you in the morning. Good morning. The time is currently half past nine. I've been sitting up since about half past seven and it is not let up raining. It is absolutely horrific. The wind's up, the rain's up. And frankly, I don't want to get out of bed. Um, I'm going to get a cup of tea on. I've got some sausage butties for my breakfast, so I'm going to get them cooking. Yeah. Wish me luck. Time is currently 11 o'clock, and it is still absolutely chucking it down. Have a look at that. Yeah, I'm trying to wait for a break in the rain, because I can't... Wow! really coming down check that out wow a branch has just come down that is absolutely up the out that is absolutely ridiculous that rain is so I'm trying to wait for a break in the rain and I can start packing up I'm gonna pack up in here as soon as there's a break, I'm going to make a break for it myself and try and get back to the van. So, wish me luck.
Right, and there we have it. That is everything for my bevy and bed chair packed down. You see, Barry's there behind me and I've got everything by the side of it ready to go. It's about, I'd say about quarter to 12. And I found, finally had a break in the rain, so I'm making a break for it. And going home, rods are in. It is literally bed chair and bevy. I've left my bevy up just to keep my bed chair and that dry. So yeah, it's been a cracking session. Unfortunately, didn't have any fish. I do have a lie. I had one bream last night at about three in the morning. But I didn't record it because, yeah, it's a bream. So hopefully, I'm gonna get down here again and um, hopefully have a few more fish. And saying that, I've just seen <laughs> caught up on that damn walk a lot. So yeah, it's been absolutely cracking. I'm hoping to get down again, maybe next week and maybe the weekend after I'll see how, how uh, life pans out. So as always, this is Matt Catchies signing out and I'll see you in the next video.